This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, I'm really excited to be sharing some early access content of the Sims 4 Life and Death Expansion Pack. And this is gonna be a speed build of a sort of like rundown haunted house using some of the new items. I already uploaded a build and buy overview if you wanna see all of the new items that are in this pack. I will have that linked in the description. And also I wanted to mention you will be seeing my name Griffey pop around the screen throughout this video. That is part of the early access software. I didn't place it there, so please ignore it. And also with that, the software you are seeing right now is not final. So there might be some glitches and things that are not present in the final version of the game. Also, if you're thinking about buying the life and death expansion pack, please consider using my code Griffey at checkout. You just enter it when purchasing on the EA app and it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a way to support me as a creator. So thank you in advance if you decide to use my code and thank you to EA for sponsoring sponsoring this portion of the video. Right now I am adding some roofing pieces and trying to figure out the general shape of this build. I really wanted it to be tall and narrow and sort of magical looking in a way. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I basically just wanted this really weirdly shaped tall haunted house building. And so I wanted to have a variety of these sort of like fake porches on every level or fake balconies because I don't end up adding doors to access them. They're more of just a fun structural piece and and I end up also adding a ton of like wear and tear to the outside of this build. There are some new wall decals that make it look like the place is falling apart. We have all sorts of new broken windows and just really gross looking items. There's also some beautiful items in this pack, which I'm excited to build with as well at some point. I'm hoping to probably build like a cemetery and a few other really cool things. And I'm planning to be live on Twitch tonight over on twitch.tv slash Griffey. So if you would like to join us for some live building with the life and death pack, make sure you join over there. I'll have a link in the description to that as well. I'm honestly really excited about it. So I hope you can join us. I've been having so much fun with this pack and it should be really fun to explore it live on stream with y'all and build some cool things. I'm also wondering what other builds you would like to see with this pack. Uh, specifically with this pack included with everything else in the game because this build is just base game and a life and death and that is also part of the reason why my name is bouncing around the screen. It is the CFE version but I should have access soon to the regular version of it where I'll have access to all of the rest of my packs. So I would love to know what things you would like to see that are combined with the other content in the game because I could think I think it'll be really fun. Uh, also right now I am picking all of the roof patterns and I decided to add a little like greenhouse looking portion on the side of the build that ends up being the dining room but we did get some new beautiful windows that work in that space. I'm placing them down now and this glass roof. I just loved it so much so I had to use it here and uh I actually am working on a build. I mentioned it. I like teased it in a different video <laughs> at some point, but I've been building the house from Coraline for a while now and it's not done yet, but I'm thinking about finishing it up with life and death so I can use those windows in the greenhouse portion because they are perfect. Uh, so that's probably something that you'll be seeing in the next week or so uh, before the end of the month, I guess, because I want to get that out before Halloween, but I'm really enjoying that build. But anyway, back to what we are working on right now. I am placing a bunch of windows and playing with the shape. I've also changed the color of the build a few different times. It is going to end up being like a dark grayish blue color in the end. Uh, and I'm going to be changing these swatches of the windows to be more worn down. There's a lot of broken versions and like the wood being like torn up over time. I love how we have clean versions and messed up versions of most of the windows in the game. Also... These pieces I am placing on the roof right now are so cool. We can now have cracks in the roof. You can also place these on the floor inside the house. So it looks like there's just like breaks and we have some really cool new roof decorations, which I'm placing down now to get a little bit more of a detailed look to this build. Uh, so just grabbing those and I will be changing the swatch of those later on as well once I change the swatch of the rest of the building so that they are a darker color and pretty much more rusted. So this is going to be the final color, but not the final wallpaper I go for because I end up actually picking this new wallpaper we got that is sort of like a flat color, but it is falling apart and torn up at the bottom and it just looks so much more like this house is old <laughs> and decaying uh, because I was imagining that this is an abandoned house. It still has a lot of furniture in it because I'm thinking that the Sims that lived here 
uh, didn't know that it was haunted and they moved in and they were living here for a while and they eventually left and just left all of their belongings behind. Uh, some things are pushed around. Some things are falling apart. This house has just been left empty for a long period of time. That was the idea anyway. And then right now I am working on some of the landscaping. I'm grabbing a lot of items from uh, show live edit objects. You can see that some things appeared and disappeared. I decided to cut out the footage of me placing down a bunch of debug fences that I didn't end up keeping. However, I did use the new ghost cow plant in this yard, which I thought was perfect for this build. And then I am placing down uh, one of the new fences that we got with the pack. I think this one is so pretty. It's going to be really great for graveyards or maybe like Vlad's house from vampires. I could see that working quite nicely as well. Also, there are some new rose bushes that I put out front from Shaliva to Objects. They're basically like the ones we have from Cottage Living, except they're a really dull green for the leaves. And then the flowers themselves, the roses, are black. So I really, really enjoy those. And uh, I had to use them here. There's also like lots of dead bushes and overgrown grass. And I am just playing around now trying to figure out which staircase I want to use. And we did get a new flooring with this pack as well, which I do put on the front porch here as well as throughout the rest of the interior. It is a beautiful wood tone and I love it. <laughs> I'm probably going to be using it too much in the future, but here I am starting to change the colors of some of the windows to make this whole house a little bit darker in color scheme. I thought that the white was a little bit too stark for what I was going for, but those windows are really pretty and I feel like they're going to be versatile in builds going forward. So I am happy to have them. Uh, and then out back, I just wanted to add a small back porch because it was really flat back here and there was space for it. So I decided to do that. So we're just bringing all of these same items from the front to the back and extending the fence so that it uh, has the back porch from there as well. And then I, of course, needed to use some of these new cracks and tears on the outside of the build as well. Uh, they're going to be throughout the inside, but I thought just making the outside look as decrepit, I think is the word I'm looking for, as possible would be great. This style of build in The Sims is my favorite to do. I've been saying that for years. I love building things that are either cluttered or run down or just gross. I am so happy to have more of that kind of stuff in the game to combine with what we already have. So I'm excited to see how these things work with things like vampires and werewolves. Uh, especially in this build, I was really wishing that I had access to the vampires pack because I would have loved to put cobwebs and spiderwebs all around this build. But of course, I didn't have access to that. But I thought that that would look so, so nice here. So Probably sometime soon I will do something combining those two. I was also thinking about maybe creating a starter home in this world that is also run down. So it's like an abandoned starter home. I think that could be a fun idea for gameplay here. So let me know if that's something you would like to see. But we are working on the floor plan now. It's a three-story build. And on the bottom floor, I have the living room, dining area, and kitchen, plus a office and a bathroom. And then the second floor has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And then the top floor is mostly an attic space that has like some random items around that I thought looked kind of fun. And there's also two extra rooms upstairs. One is set up as a bedroom and the other one kind of is. It just has a coffin in it, which I thought was a bit of fun since we did get a new coffin or casket in this pack. I thought about putting a bar up here. I didn't end up doing that in the end, but uh, it ends up being an interesting attic space. I feel like if I had access to the paranormal stuff pack, I would have put the seance table up here. I think that would have worked really nicely, but I decided not to. Maybe that's how the house got haunted. That's an idea. Uh, anyway, here I am just painting the inside of the house so that we have like a base to go off of. I find it harder to decorate when I don't have the walls painted. So I just wanted something here and you can see a closer up of this wallpaper now how it's like ripped apart at the bottom. I also love these windows. There's two different versions of each swatch. You can have one where it's broken or not. So I kind of mixed and matched them here. So it looked like some of the windows were broken and then I wanted the chairs to feel like they were kind of randomly placed. So I have two at the table and one that's just kind of chucked in the corner and I grabbed this beautiful plant here. We have a hole in the ground and then this new kitchen set. It is beautiful. It does not look run down, but like I said, I think this was a nice house that has been abandoned over time and it's just been sitting here. So I think it's okay that like the kitchen stuff is really nice. The, the fridge probably doesn't make that much sense. The things in there would not be so nice. They'd probably be 
disgustingly moldy, but it is the new kitchens that we got and so I wanted to use it. It is so pretty. I cannot wait to use this in more builds. I love how modern it is, but it's also it's kind of like a mix between modern and traditional. It's got a lot of detail on the cabinetry and these like thick marble countertops, plus the beautiful sink, the modern fridge, the oven, the range hood. It's just all so good. I'm so in love with this kitchen set. Also, can we talk about the new clutter item I just placed in the kitchen? It's like bottles of nectar or alcohol, juice, whatever you want to call it. We have a couple of those now you can just place on counters and they look so good. I was really excited about that, but we are in the living room now. I just kind of like randomly placed the rug in the couch like they have been pushed around over time. They're not like nicely placed. And I got a trunk over here as well. This is all new furniture. We also have a pet crow now in the game. So of course I had to add that in here and this new coffee table with these beautiful roses. Also the doors. The doors are so good. <laughs> They're a two tile door that look really run down and I really like them. Uh, there's also some new paintings. I'm getting a lot of the scuffs on the walls and we did get these framed posters or cards that are all from the tarot deck. So I do have a few of those throughout this build as well. I think they're really nice. And then I'm just getting a coat rack by the front door and a couple of candles and bringing in that gorgeous chandelier into that dining space. This is going to be the office area on the main floor. It's a really small office. I have a hole in the ground, the new desk and a new chair, as well as a new bookcase. And I end up just adding a couple of pieces of clutter up here. I change out which ones I want, but I do get this beautiful floral decal on the wall up above the desk and a feather quill and a little jar that has a ghost in it. It's so cute. I'm just really happy with the clutter objects. I feel like they're very useful and small and it's nice to see a couple of these that look like they were originally something that was part of another item and they still are, but we also got separated versions. So that pen and quill is part of one of the modern desks that came with this pack. It's attached. And then the bars of the bars, the bottles of juice <laughs> for a bar are attached to one of the bar backs, but we also got them as separate items. So I don't know if that was something that they started not planning to have as separate items and then they were added later on. I know there were some Sims creators who were involved with the builds in this pack. So maybe those were suggestions by them, but either way, very happy with that. And I just talked over the primary bedroom. Everything's kind of like pushed around. This bed is gorgeous. The painting up above the bed, the grandfather clock, the dresser. So in love with all of the items that came with this pack. This bed is just stunning. It's so grand and I love the headboard. The patterns on it are also really pretty. I went for more of a green color scheme in this room. And then we actually did get a second double bed, which I'm going to be using in one of the other bedrooms up here in a little bit. Uh, but first, we're just decorating this bathroom quickly. I do really like the new bathroom set. There is a new shower, a new tub, and a new sink. No new toilet, but we have too many in the game already, so that's fine. Although, I kind of would have liked one to match this set just because it feels like none of the toilets, at least in base game, felt like they matched too well. But... Uh, that could just be me missing one of the ones that would be the perfect match. They might have tried to make it fit with one of them. I'm not sure. But uh, those are the bathrooms. And then I thought about having this room be a nursery for a newborn, but I didn't end up keeping that in the end. In this room instead, though, I do have a new toddler bed. It's got a canopy with these string lights and like the cutest comforters. I was really happy with this. I was so happy that they added a toddler bed. I just really wish that they added one for our infants as well. We don't have an infant crib, but we did get a bassinet, a toddler bed, and a couple of double beds as well. So some of the life stages were accounted for, but not all of them. And I am just adding some more scuffs and tears here. I also really enjoyed the new stuffed animal, which is a bunny dressed up as the Grim Reaper or a Grim Turn, which is like the first level of the Grim Reaper career, which is so cute. And also the tarot card I put in there was a Sim who was pregnant, which I thought was perfect for a baby's room. So I really enjoyed that. And then this is the other bed that we got in the pack. More modern, gorgeous. I ended up going with this more beige toned bed. And then I'm just playing around with other furniture items in here. The taller dresser piece I put in the corner is actually not a dresser. It's one of those pieces that are intended for a bathroom for extra storage for towels and stuff like that. I just thought it worked nicely in here and helped fill up the space since I was trying to use as many new items from this pack as I could and uh, not use too much base game. There's a little bit of base game in here, but 
Uh, I thought that that room came out really cute. And now we are up in the attic, which I did put the bassinet up here. I was thinking, you know, old items you just kind of keep for storage in the attic. And I'm using a lot of stuff from Show Live Edit Objects and Debug up here. So that is what uh, that like book with all the candles around it is. I believe that's something related to the tarot in this pack. Uh, it's placed in the world somewhere. And then this room just has a coffin in it behind some hidden bookcase doors, which I thought was kind of fun. And then this last room up here is just like an extra bedroom. It's only got a bed and a mirror and a couple of like dings in the wall. So it's a pretty simple room. It's just like extra space. And this is another swatch of that bed that I used downstairs. And that's pretty much it for this build. We're just going to be getting a couple of more decorations throughout getting some curtains here and also finishing up some of the landscaping outside. I also got a couple more of the tarot cards up here as well. I thought that they were really cute. And this rocking chair is beautiful. Oh, and the poof. I, I just feel like I'm so in love with so many of these items. It's hard to pick a favorite. Uh, out front, I do have a swing set because it would be so creepy if there were some ghost children swinging on that. And I believe the metal one in town, sometimes it will just swing on its own when nobody's on it and it's kind of creepy. So I love that. There's also a bunch of gravestones out front. I was thinking there could be some Sims buried here who might have died on the premise. And I love all of the new gravestones we got with this pack. There are a variety of new ones that were added as well as some new urns and obviously the ability to have funerals or work as a groom reaper like this is such a cool pack and I'm overall really really happy with it but I'd love to know what you're thinking of this and if it's one you are considering getting and if you are please consider using my code Griffey at checkout it's just a free way to support me as a creator so thank you so much for considering and with that, we should be heading on into screenshots. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.